So this video is really not going to be a review, but just kind of a quick comparison and really more questions and answers on this. So in front of me, I have a bunch of different EMF readers, and I, I was curious about what the accuracy would be on these different meters. But uh, first of all, let's just remove one of them from this equation here. So this one here, um, I'm not even going to look at any further because last time I checked, if you can't even spell things correctly on your main menu, uh, you've lost faith with me <laughs> as far as uh, accuracy. So uh, that instrument will be by the wayside. But if you just look at these four, I guess, let's just look at these. This one here is kind of a, a catch-all. Everyone, it looks, seems to be is picking this up because it's cheap. And there's different manufacturers. This one here is made by this company. Um, I found another one that was actually in a brown box. Uh, I didn't even bother opening it. It's exact same. Um, it's exact same thing as this. It's just not labeled, uh, but it's exact. Uh, I'm not even going to bother opening that to test it. But when you look at these, look at the different readings that you're getting on it. I'm I'm shocked. Let's just look at the RM. Look at the RF. Look at the different readings that you have on the RF meter. Okay, so everybody can kind of see that. I mean, this one here, if you can focus in, here's the RF meter on that. And now, if you just change that, well, this one here is already set, but look at the EF. Let's change this one over to EF. Here's the E field on this one. This one's at five. This one's barely at one. And this EF field is at four. This one, let's change this over. Here's the E field on that. It's not even registering anything. How can this thing not even be register anything? And these are registering at least something. You know, you've got five on this one, four on this one, nothing on this one, and this one's barely, I saw one pop up one time. There we go, one. How can you be this far off on the E field? I don't, I don't understand. Five? Oh, this one, these two are consistent. So these two are being consistent. These two are consistently off. I guess is the best way to put that. But let's go back to, let's go back to the uh, RF. So the RF on this one is telling me 0 0.04, 0 0.03. The RF on this, is saying one point, and it's 2.5. You come over here, put this back to RF. You're at what? I mean, come on. This one's telling me 0 0.09, and I've got 12 on this one? I mean, I don't get it. How can they be that far off? I mean, the, the I, I get it. But when you look at the scale or the, MW over M squared. I, I don't know what that means. I have no idea. But I'm just looking at the original readings. I would imagine everyone would have the, a standardized scale. But how can they be that far off? And again, that thing over here, this is a joke. I mean, here's your electric field on this thing. It's not even hardly picking up anything. So that's trash. But this... Which one's the accurate one? Which one's the true measurement? You know, this thing is really reading high. I don't get it. What is the true measurement? Maybe somebody can leave a comment below and tell me which one they found to be the most accurate instrument. All right, so this was a tough one. Um, I narrowed it down to these two uh, EMF readers. And 
these two seem to be pretty consistent when it came to uh, measurements. And the Mestic was just a little bit off um, when it came to being sensitive. Some of the readings were a little bit higher, and I don't know if that was because it's a little bit more sensitive and a little bit more accurate, but because of the fact that you can actually get all three measurements up at one time on this uh, 390 versus the Mestec, which you have to actually you know, change manually um, and pull up each one individually, uh, this is just a better way of looking at things. And when I looked at the, the measurements and finding out which one was most accurate um, as far as comparing all of them in a line, this one seemed to be giving the most consistent reading. So for whatever that's worth, um, I guess I'm going to stay with this one. I'm going to call the, uh, the EMF 390 the winner um, based on what I found out. Uh, not really exactly a scientific uh, test, but uh, just my own opinion. Uh, tell me what you guys think down below. I'd like to uh, hear what you guys found in your own testing. Thanks for watching, everybody.